Yeah, my name is uh, Hil Balignasay from the Philippines and I work with uh, World Peace Philippines and also part of the consortium of uh, pastoral training in the Philippines, uh, reaching to pastors, equipping them, mentoring them, coaching them. Um, my participation here in this consultation is to allow myself to understand the meaning of this uh, consultation for my personal growth in the Lord, first of all, as a Bible teacher for many years. And I would like to bring the message to my country because this is one area of need in my country because the Philippines has been uh, in, in many ways, in many years, had been influenced by Western approach of, of uh, teaching. And so we have that kind of mindset of uh, being influenced by this. And uh, as I see and I work on the grassroots level to about uh, working with 40,000 pastors in the Philippines, would like to bring in this kind of approach of learning uh, so how do you plan on moving forward? Uh, 40,000 is a lot of yeah. pastors. How, what, is, what are your thoughts right now on how to take this to the next level? Um, one of my plan is to continue on equipping these pastors in a new brand approach of uh, teaching the Bible in a more exciting manner to reach their constituents. Uh, how would that be? How is it? How can it be more exciting? I mean, it's the Bible. Uh, so how do you teach it in a more exciting manner? Because these people, um, they have their mixed understanding of different cultures. Some, some of them are, you know, their their cultural beliefs are mostly animistic, you know, traditional religion. And so, when a teacher, a, a Bible teacher goes to them and teach us the Word of God, when we use this approach of oral learning, they have a better understanding of the, of their, of the world around them. And the Bible teacher should really center the, 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 the story, the gospel message to them for better understanding. Okay. So you have now these 40,000 pastors getting them into more uh, exciting methods of, of learning. Um, uh, what what steps will you do to get them to this training and, and how are you going to do that training? I will, uh, um, part of my work is going around the country, traveling back and forth. Uh, and uh, I would like to establish small groups for these uh, selected pastors to re-echo this kind of new approach of uh, teaching the Word of God. So is that just any pastors? Or are they key pastors? What do you... Uh, what do you they think? are key pastors uh, working with, with one another, especially my heart really is for the rural pastors mm -hmm. going to them. So these are pastors who are engaged themselves not only in church work like uh, evangelism and discipleship, but they are doing a lot of church planting work. Mm -hmm. So be because of this kind of approach of reaching the villages and uh, the mountain people, this kind of approach will be most uh, effective.